my first ever video. I'm gonna just start recording my gym content because I feel like it. Damn, I really suck at talking. Hopefully the gym is not too packed because I've never recorded in the gym before. And I actually switched gyms to go to a private gym just so that I was a little more comfortable. I live right beside a school and there's literally cars coming in and out. All right, move along, come on. I got places to be. My goal is right now I'm going to be maintaining my weight because I've hit the weight that I wanted to bulk up to. And I'm going to maintain for about, I've actually been around this weight for a while, but I've kind of just been floating, stop moving. Okay, you are not cooperating at all. I'm going to maintain for a little longer and then we're going to start my cut journey because my mom has a wedding um, in the end of January and I'm quite a tall person. So I think that uh, I'll be able to lose weight pretty quickly as long as I do my cardio, which I suck at. So a little bit about me, uh, my nine to five, but it's not nine to five because I work in the kitchen. I'm currently a junior sous chef working at a restaurant. And I think to put a little bit of a twist on bodybuilding content is because I'm the kitchen manager, um, around 2 p.m. I send everyone home and I'm gonna try to film me making food and just like talk about the food that I'm making. No, oh, just get a little bit of food education. You know, I feel like people will like that, have some cool bodybuilding content and then being in a restaurant cooking food. So I'm gonna try my best to do that sort of thing. And I guess I can say this now. Um, please like, subscribe, as always, as everyone else says. And honestly, I don't really have any YouTube goals. I'm kind of just doing this for fun. I also stream as well, but that's a whole other uh, handle. And you guys can ask questions, how I became a cook, why I am one, all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know what you do on YouTube. But yeah, I think I've said all I needed to say. But yeah, I'm trying to try not to make my videos too long. Oh shit. That eh, will be alright. Whatever. Alright, we're here. Um, yeah. I will see you guys inside the gym. See ya. Just am back today. Um, I'm so happy I came to this new gym. So they got this machine and I've been wanting it like forever. Get a warm-up set in. Just want a little bit. I'm going until I can feel a little bit of a burn. Okay, so you cannot listen to music while recording. That's sad. So I had a whole plan of playing the music that I would be listening to during the set. I'll just play music while I'm doing it. I'll play the songs that I would listen to. I can just imagine it. It's imagination. To do to go past failure is give myself about 10 to 15 seconds and then get a couple more reps. In. I love this machine. When you go for high intensity like this and low reps, not low reps, high reps, 
high intensity, a low volume, because you're not doing as many uh, sets. So you need really long rest periods because you're forcing yourself to like 100% failure going to your very last rep and more if you're doing like half reps, assisted reps if you're with friends or something like that. I don't know what else to say. I guess. Let's go to the next part where I do the setting. I think I'm going to do a drop set for this one. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the 45 off. 25 to failure. Alright, I've never used this machine before. We're at 105 right now. Let's do 75. Let's see how this works. This isn't. Oh my god, it goes back so far. It doesn't fit in the machine. Let's try 120. Oh. So that pull down, I do 165. So let's see if 100. Let's see if that works here. Or I can do more. Let's see. Okay. That's it. this on my back though. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if this machine is just not meant for me. We'll do it one more time and do another drop. So. I think it's definitely my weight though. I don't know how many reps I did. I think that's my weight. If there's no like five added. If it went to 180 I wouldn't be able to do it as well. The good thing about recording is that it forces you to try and look good on camera. So I'm actually pushing myself, probably just a little bit more than I would if I wasn't recording. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Look at me with my Alex Eubank haircut. Listen, the man has a nice haircut, okay? I'm not trying to be him, I just wanted a similar, I already had a middle part. I kept, keeping, I kept keeping it short and I feel that like, I feel like it made me look younger. And now that my hair is growing out, and if I take the back part away, I feel like I automatically look young. And I already have a baby face. Let's do this again. I'm gonna go this one Deep drop. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
shoulder section. Oh yeah, that felt good. That feels good, my lads. There we go. Go. Come on. Sorry, I'm heavy. Just push it. Oh, I should have done that. He drops it. It's just half the weight. Let's go to like 90. Oh, yeah, I definitely felt that on my lats. I think I need to go wider. Oh, that's like really light. I can just do a slow beach roll for this. Let's do a bench before I get tired. Let's just warm up for the 25 minutes side. So, I'm gonna try and do four sets. One rest arms. Let's just let's get this in. Those legs are huge. No spotter. I am not a pussy. Okay. Alright, so last time I benched, I went wider. Like this wide. And it felt good. I can't no more. <sighs> These guys are going nuts in here. I was probably only show you like two sets. There's nothing really else. Like, you want to see five sets of one workout. You want to... I'm going to get to the next one already. Alright, let's do this. Stuck on one of those. I hate powerlifting training style, Ben. I think like I've actually come a pretty long way from where from when I used to work out. I used to be at Planet Fitness. This year, January, I went to a Good Life. And at Planet Fitness, I was doing maybe I think I was doing maybe like hundred pounds on this shit. Okay, fine. Eccentric slowly. Oh. 
Okay. Let's see this pump cover off. Your sub zoom rate takes out. So it looks like. Yeah. Oh. It's also with a pump though. Yeah, I don't want to take my shirt off because I'm fat. This lighting's gonna fire me. I think my favorite pose is probably the side tricep. The side tricep and the double bicep. Mainly because I'm feeling my arms are pretty big. My chest when I was skinny did not exist. I didn't want to like, I don't want to give too many tips when working out unless people want it because I feel like in this industry in this day and age, everyone knows everything already. And kind of just like, you know, join me for my journey type thing. Yeah. I can give little tips here and there. I'll say like what, what I'm going to do, the way I work out, things like that. I'll show like, I'll post like a transformation video on TikTok and YouTube shorts of me like two and a half years ago. Basically when I just started lifting weights versus now. And I'm literally like, maybe like a 30 five pound difference from now to then. And like, some of it's fat obviously, but muscle wise, I'm like so much stronger. All right, I need to talk a little more further. So as you can tell, I'm kind of only doing like three quarter reps like over here. Because I was looking at my friend one day. It's one why I felt my bicep so much. Yeah. It's one why I felt my bicep so much. Yeah. I found out because as soon as I go past, which is my elbow, it becomes a cute angle like this. Your bicep activates. I don't want that. Because bicep is a small muscle and it hurts a lot when you bring it to failure. That's so why a lot of people don't train their biceps as much. They don't have a lot of hurt. So. Alright, guys, so I do have this on video of me cooking my food, but someone decided not to actually turn his microphone on so it's literally just a full video of me making this without me talking uh yeah it's a very basic seafood pasta it's just shrimp i think it's just like onion and tomato and the sauce is like some random sauce that i came up with but yeah this is my food i just want to show you guys what i had for dinner that day and yeah um if you guys like this video if you've made it this far like, subscribe, as always, comment what you, you want to see more, what you want to see less of, I'm open to suggestions, and yeah, thanks, and have a good one.